Okay, we're trying to figure out the greatest divisor of x and y. So, for example, if we had, let's say, x is, x is 6 and y is 2, the greatest common divisor between a 6 and a 2 would be a 2. That means that's the largest number that goes into both of them. So, the problem says, which of the following cannot be the greatest? Well, cannot be. Well, 1 for sure could be a divisor. And we're trying to find the one that cannot be. And x, for example, if x is 2 and y is 6, then x would work. And flip that around, let y be, let y be uh, 2 and x be 6, then 2 would be it. Uh, x minus y, I'm sure you could find a Example of where x minus y would work. Um, let me think. 4 and 2. And 4 minus 2 is 2. That works. What's not ever going to work is x plus y. When you add these two, that is not going to be a divisor or of, uh, of x and y. 4 plus 2 is 6. That sum is going to be greater, and it's not going to go into either one of those. Look at 6 and 2. If you add those two, you get an 8. 8's not going to go into some number where the other two numbers were smaller. Does that make sense? So the answer is going to be E. It's the most straightforward one.